Hello people and welcome to Exploring Places, a series of places that we have visited in Ireland, North and South, the UK and very soon the rest of Europe. So welcome viewers, just enjoy it, every day is a good day, never mind the weather. Nendron. This ancient place is in Christian is a Christian monastery um, on Mahi Island in uh, Strangford Lock, County Down. It is one of those uh, historical gems that's not parroted too much by the powers that be in the tourism industry here. Yet it has uh, properly manicured, uh, recorded history dating back to the 5th century. So okay, here we are, a grey but warm spring afternoon. I'm sure thousands have uh, visited this place since it was uh, first publicly spoken about during the excavations of 1922. Well this island uh, Mahi, that is uh, M-A-H-E-E, -E, is a ma magnificent place. Uh, the Game of Thrones film has been uh, filmed uh, not too far from here, just around here, the Strangford Lock, which is uh, within our reach here, it's just right over there. It looks like a, a sleepy village here, where time had stopped, but uh, you won't be too bold in saying that, because you're at the risk of offending the locals, and also there's a lot of farming activities around the island. You see livestock lazing about, and acres of potato and other plants growing everywhere. The place is beautiful. Mendrum uh, was founded by Saint Moelia, who was uh, baptized Saint Pat by Saint Patrick. His official name was uh, Saint Mochaoi, and I will repeat that with my Zulu language, African phonetics. Mochaoi. You, as an Irish person or a person who may know how to say this better, uh, I would just like to remind you this is a <laughs> an African discovering uh, bits of Europe. So pardon my accent. So anyway, uh, Mochahoi was appointed the abbot of uh, Nendrum, where he had saints uh, Finian and uh, Coleman among his disciples, if that's the correct terminology to use. He was then anglicized as uh, Saint Mahi, which of course you know as I said before is the name of this island as well. Again, my fully African pronunciation there. Uh, remember, this is just one of the most beautiful places of this island. It's beautiful, it's breathtaking, and yet it is small, uh, it doesn't impose itself too much. It's on a high ground. This place um, has an outer and inner cacho or walls with meaning. Everything in this monastery was uh, for a purpose. It was really a thriving community, this monastery, back in uh, the 5th century. People were born here, they lived here, some act a, li a livelihood here. They mastered their sp spiritualism and uh, even uh, to the extent that uh, hundreds and thousands visited from different parts, not just of this district, but parts of Europe. And uh, some of the pilgrims never went back. So people lived here and died here. Uh, some got buried here. There's a graveyard just to prove that in this site, just beyond the west door of the monastery. It still served as a church, this Nendrum, a church parish until 
around the end of the 15th century. Mwamfunishe kubupina mwamfunishe ukwabule chibote mwamfunishe kubupina lesae ni mwemweka tatae ni mweka mzunga ndi mwana wenu Mwande tele kubunonshi mwande tele ukwafule fisuma mwande tele ukwawa male sae ni mwemweka tatae ni mweka mzunga ndi mwana wenu ndi mwana wenu Mweka tata ni mweka musunga ni mweka lesa ni mweka musunga ni mweka tata ni mweka musunga lesa e ni mweka complete round tower that you see up here is one of only three solid towers in uh, County Down and this part of Northern Ireland. Very little is known about uh, what happened to this beautiful uh, strong tower. Nendrum is a place of medieval history. I love it. This is good for me because it makes me understand our complex and comparative histories Africa and here you see these stones these walls that were discovered here during the 1922 to 1924 excavations by the archaeologist Henry Keynes Lola and his team of local enthusiasts this can be compared to our African history and experience. Present day uh, Zimbabwe is the closest, uh, closest uh, example I can think of. And it has its fair share of history of ancient sites of this kind. The ruins of the Great Zimbabwe, which, uh, as you may know, is a ruined city in the southeastern hills of Zimbabwe near Lake Mutirikwe and the town of Masvingo. The walls of the city there stretching back to um, the 16th century uh, so maybe not as old as this Nendrum uh, but 16th century or, or even uh, much earlier than that and those walls in Zimbabwe they were over five meters high the Nendrum walls were, and as we can still see, considerably uh, lower but higher at some points of the monastery. Um, this is not a who has better penthouse views or bird's eye view from the top kind of thing, but the arch architectural uh, minds and mindsets of those Africans who, who built the Great Zimbabwe and uh, this Nendrum were nearly the same. Here in Ireland they used stones not mortar. They did the same in Zimbabwe. The great monastic walls of Nendrum are still alive. So the 5th century, that is uh, some 1519 or 520 years ago, is still here. It stands still it is open 24 hours a day. 
this is a true discovery that even many Irish people don't seem to know about when I asked some of the locals. There are slate tablets, stones, and other important artifacts. One can see at the curator's office here. So let us see what we'll come up with. Oh well, it, it looks closed. Yes, it's closed. Uh, there is nothing much happening there, but I can see things through the window.
I saw it's West Side Story What I saw it's just a ride What I saw it's West Side Story What I saw it's just a ride Just to ride What I saw is West Side Story What I saw is just to ride What I saw is West Side Story What I saw is just to ride Just to ride Just to ride, just to ride. So it's just a ride. Well, so it's just a ride. Well, so it's just a ride. So, as we say in Swahili, Asante, which means thank you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching this video. Please come back. We're going to be on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook very soon. We'll be showing you lots of videos about the travelogues of Ireland, UK, and the rest of Europe. Just keep watching. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye-bye.